Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail We have another wig and I have a lot of good things to say about her But of course, you know, I'm gonna tell y'all the good the bad or indifferent in every wig review So yeah, stay tuned watch the whole video and of course Let me go ahead and give a shout out right now to divatress.com for sending me this wig to do a review on y'all already know how I feel highly 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 appreciate it very good company, y'all. If y'all looking for the latest, greatest, even the oldest wigs, you can find several options on their site. And of course, accessories and all that other good stuff. I will leave the link in the description box below if you go ahead and check that out. And of course, the link to this wig. So let's just jump into this one. This one is called Frida. She is from Outre. She is from their Perfect Hairline Collection. This is a 13 by six, fully hand-tied lace wig. We have a lace frontal situation on this wig transparent lace hd no plucking is supposed to be required we can heat this one up to 400 fahrenheit she is 22 inches and the color that i have her in is drst maple brown of course we can part her on the left right and of course the middle the color that i'm most intrigued by is this one right here which i didn't get because i'm not sure if i like this color but um i don't know y'all i saw a few reviews and i'm not 100 percent sure about her but anyway if y'all interested definitely continue on watching do not forget to subscribe to the channel i do mostly wig reviews of course a sprinkle of other content but mostly wigs and if you love makeup looks like this right here will be on my other channel called beats by phoebe definitely go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you love makeup so let's just stop all that talking and get into what miss frida is all about
lot of the things to say about her. She is really, really pretty. Maybe one con, but we'll get to that in a minute because I want to talk about the good stuff about this one first. Um, this color is really, really pretty. This one is um, DRST Maple Brown, and I really do love it. It's neutral. It's not like the color on the stock card, which I almost got because she is extra, extra. I love the style of this one. We have some layers. So a lot of my wig bays like me don't like to cut and we don't have to worry about it with this wig. The way she is feeling is really soft. I like that about this one. She's lightweight. When the wind blows, she will be moving around because we don't like no stiff wig. And this one does have some body in it. The density of this one is really nice. To me, it's perfect in my opinion. Not too thick, not too thin. This one is 22 inches. So this is the perfect length in my opinion if I don't want a short wig. but. Yeah, I am loving that. This one is ear to ear. As for pre-plucation, yeah, we actually got a little bit more than what I usually get. To me, I think they have been dropping the ball, and I'm not even talking about just Outre. Um, companies across the board have been dropping the ball when it comes to pre-plucation. They tell us that we're gonna get it, and we don't really get nothing. But on this one, we got a little bit. Of course, they could have did way better, which. I guess it's kind of like a negative in my opinion because they could have gave us more, but this one is actually better than what I have been getting. So that's a plus, I guess. And um, she is laying on flat. So to me, she is giving scalp in this parting space area. Um, very, very close. She is melted in my opinion. Even though I didn't even melt her, I only put the tabs down and laid the baby hairs down. And she looks natural to me. She looked like she could be growing out of my scalp in my opinion. Y'all can tell me if I'm lying or not, but I think she is. Shedding, I barely got any shedding out of this wig, but y'all know I gotta be honest, I have been getting some tangles, as y'all can see. I have been running my fingers through her, and she is a tangler, in my opinion. I think you're gonna have, I don't know if it's gonna be a, a huge issue, but you are gonna have some tangles, some snags. You might wanna bring a paddle brush with you, if you decide to wear her out all day because she is gonna tangle on you. Even though she's not that long, she is a tangler. That's really my only con besides they could have gave us a little bit more pre-plugation. And I almost forgot to tell y'all, this is the important part anyway. I don't even know how I'm gonna forget to tell y'all what texture this is. This one is that texture that is not yakky, but not silky. Right in the middle, kinda. To me it's more silkier, but we have some yak in it, so I would say this is a light yakky texture. Anyway, that's all of my thoughts, good and bad. I do think she's a really pretty wig. I love the curls in, in this wig, the waves in this wig. She's perfect for every day. She's perfect for glam, perfect for work in my opinion. She is multi-occasional uh, in my opinion, so I do want to give a huge shout out again to divatress.com. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, subscribe, of course, comment. Let me know your thoughts on Miss Frida. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I will see y'all in my next one.